the 2014 Nissan GT-R Track Edition. Just when we thought the 2014 Nissan GT-R couldn't get any better, Nissan proved us wrong. The company announced the launch of the new GT-R Track Edition today at the 2013 Chicago Auto Show, which will join the 2014 GT-R lineup. While the new Track Edition delivers the same output level as the standard GT-R, the updates made to the suspension, the addition of new fuel injectors and an oil pan baffle make it far better than the standard version. In order to distinguish it from the standard version, the new Track Edition includes an array of modifications to the interior and exterior on top of the suspension improvements. Deliveries for the new GT-R Track Edition will begin in May 2013. It will be limited to only 150 units. So, is the new Track Edition worth whatever price hike that Nissan will place on it? Update the 1st of May 2013, Nissan has just revealed the pricing details on the 2014 GT-R Track Edition. See more after the jump. Hit the jump to read more about the 2014 Nissan GT-R Track Edition and find out. Exterior On the exterior, the new GT-R Track Edition is basically identical to the standard version. It gets large hood bulge, enlarged central air intake, super wide beam headlights and front fenders with aero blades. However, in order to differentiate it from the rest of the lineup, the new Track Edition receives a front spoiler with carbon fiber air ducts, plus a handmade, lightweight dry carbon fiber rear spoiler that helps increase aerodynamic downforce. Customers can choose between five exterior colors, deep blue pearl, jet black, solid red, gun metallic and pearl white. Interior for the interior, the new Track Edition has dropped the rear seats, while the front ones use a special leather and fabric appointments. The rest will be pretty much identical to the standard GTR and will include a cockpit-style instrument panel with a large, center-mounted tachometer, a large, metallic-framed center console with ergonomically designed shift lever, a red engine start button and carbon fiber interior trim. The model will include the same video game-inspired multi-function display, which offers no less than 11 pages of available information, including mechanical and driving information, acceleration, brake pedal pressure, steering angle and a recording function with playback. Other features include Navigation system with nav traffic real-time traffic information and nav weather capabilities Bluetooth hands-free phone system 11 speaker Bose audio system featuring two forward-facing woofers in the rear center armrest area streaming audio via Bluetooth drivetrain. Under the hood, the model keeps the usual 3.8-liter twin-turbo V6 engine, but for the Track Edition version the engine receives new fuel injectors for enhanced torque response and improved throttle and acceleration feel, plus an oil pan baffle to stabilize oil turbulence and oil pressure under high-performance driving conditions. Hmm, that sort of reminds us of the JDM spec GTR. The engine delivers a total of 545 horsepower and a peak torque of 463 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to an advanced paddle-shifted sequential six-speed dual-clutch transmission and sends power to all four wheels via the new ATTESAETS all-wheel drive system, which optimizes weight distribution and handling capability. Suspension and Brakes the new Track Edition suspension has been specially developed at the Nürburgring circuit by GTR development driver, Toshio Suzuki, so it's no wondering why it's better than ever. The new suspension system includes Bilstein damped tronic gas pressure shock absorbers and higher spring rates. This setup helps deliver improved damping force and handling capacities. Nissan also refined the front and rear brakes, combining them with a new set of forged lightweight wheels finished in metallic black in six-spoke design. The wheels are wrapped in Dunlop SP Sport Max GT 600 DSS TCTT Ultra High Performance Run Flat Tires. Prices The new Nissan GT-R Track Edition will go on sale in May 2013. It will be limited to only 150 units. The Track Edition comes in at $115,710, which does not include the $1,000 destination and handling charge. Competition Porsche 911 Turbo Nissan's declared competitor for the GTR remains the Porsche 911 Turbo, and in the past few years, the GTR was winning.
We'll just have to see what the new generation 911 Turbo will bring to the table. Rumors suggest the new 911 Turbo will be powered by a 3.8-liter flat-six engine that will deliver about 550 horsepower, a little bit more than the GTR, if rumors turn out to be true. Still, as most of the Porsche models look very similar, we are going to say that the GTR is far better looking car, and we are pretty sure you agree. Audi R8 GT Of course, if you are looking for a pure sports coupe, there are many more out there, but most of them are considerably more expensive than the GTR. Like the Audi R8 GT, which is priced at $196,800. The R8 is powered by a 5.2-liter V10 engine that delivers a total of 560 horsepower to 15 horsepower more than the GTR. Even with the extra ponies, we still cannot find enough reasons to pay an extra $100,000 for it. Conclusion The new Nissan GTR Track Edition drops the rear seats, which means it has been specially designed for those drivers looking for a real road racer. It gets improved suspension and brakes, so you can better handle it on the racetrack, and on the roads, given you can find one that allows you to push it to the limit. The problem is that only 150 lucky owners will enjoy it. Love it looks very aggressive updated engine highly equipped interior. Leave it no rear seats very limited production. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.